This website bashed me for a question I asked about lockdowns. I'm talking specifically about Australia, a country that's closed its borders for over a year, not letting people leave the country and even putting its own citizens on a wait list just to come back. ENY estimates that Australia's economy is losing $6 billion a month from closed borders. Melbourne is now in its sixth lockdown since the pandemic began because anytime they have just a handful of cases, these states go into lockdown. Limiting how far you could go from your house, setting strict curfews, and even fining you thousands of dollars for breaking the rules. But Australia used to be considered one of the best places in the world to be during pandemic. And I totally respect it for this. But then scientists around the world said, hey, this virus is not going to actually end, at least anytime soon, and we need to learn to live with it. So four months ago, I asked the question, how is Australia ever gonna move on and have a sense of normalcy if its own strategy is to to keep going into lockdowns and continuing to keep its borders shut. And now Australians are protesting and even rioting these lockdowns. Australia being an island nation has done an exceptional job of preventing COVID-19 from getting into the community. The entire country has had less than 1,000 deaths and much of daily life right now is normal. There will be a curfew on advice from the Chief Health Officer from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. each and every day. This is literally a war. Operation stay at home. Some people are proud that their country takes such drastic steps to pursue this zero tolerance policy, but others are so mad they're even suing their own government, saying it's bad for both business and mental health. In my video I posted, I said, I respect how Australia has avoided a lot of illness and death, but if COVID isn't going to go away, I'm genuinely curious. Are they just going to continue this for the next five to 10 years? It's now been a few months since I posted this video and got roasted for this video but it seems I have my answer. See, Australia is embracing the idea and finally admitting that its zero COVID strategy is unfortunately not going to work, especially because now it's recording a record number of COVID cases. The country's treasurer even just said, learning to live with the virus is our only hope. To delay and deny the fact is not only wrong, but incredibly unrealistic. But again, don't get me wrong, Australia did right for a long time. While the rest of the world was struggling from second and third waves of the pandemic, Australia was going to conferences and nightclubs, but now it seems to be an eternal quarantines and lockdowns. Most countries in the world have decided that COVID-19 won't disappear. Even Singapore, another country which practiced the zero tolerance policy, it's changing its tune with one of its ministers saying, we can't eradicate it, but we can turn the pandemic into something much less threatening like influenza, hand, foot and mouth disease or chicken pox and get on with our lives. But I have friends in Australia who are just absolutely miserable at the fact that they can't leave and they see people in the US and Europe resuming a sense of normal life. COVID has turned from a pandemic to an endemic. So I wanna know in the comments, what do you think? Is Australia in the wrong? Should they just accept COVID, know that they're gonna have more cases and reopen its borders? While you're at it, check out more of my videos, subscribe to my channel and find me on TikTok and Instagram at Upton.